Science is without a doubt one of the most expansive fields of study. From geology to astronomy to medicine, there are any number of brilliant minds intent upon revealing the deepest mysteries behind the inner workings of the world, despite the seemingly infinite number of these mysteries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three new discoveries. Is this backwards orbiting asteroid an interstellar visitor? When discussing rare and unusual objects in our solar system, asteroids are not usually the first things that come to mind. In fact, there are well over 770,000 asteroids that have so far been discovered and orbit our Sun as remnants of the rock and ice particles that formed the planets and even our very own Earth. Most of these hundreds of thousands of asteroids orbit the Sun in a counterclockwise rotation, although 95 asteroids have been identified as orbiting in an opposite clockwise direction. Asteroid 2015 BZ509 is one of these apparent rule breakers adhering to the same orbital pattern of Jupiter, only it travels in the opposite direction from the gas giant. However, this seemingly backwards rotation is not the main reason that this asteroid stands out from its fellows as a rare and unusual solar system object. BZ509 is being carefully studied by astronomers because researchers have named it as one of the only two identified interstellar objects and the first to occupy a place of permanent residence in our solar system. But these claims have turned out to be slightly controversial within the astronomy community. The initial claim of BZ509's mysterious origins came when researchers modelled the orbit of the strange asteroid in one million different iterations. Each clone of the space rock adhered to a slightly different orbit, with the goal being the revelation of its origin, or at least a glimpse into how it came to orbit opposite from most other asteroids. It seems most of the computer-generated orbital paths saw the asteroid destroyed within one million years, never coming anywhere close to its current age without being slammed into other bodies or into the Sun or out of the solar system entirely. Out of the hundreds upon thousands of potential paths, a mere 27 ended up with paths resembling the current orbit of the asteroid. Whereas most of the asteroids that make up the dense, swirling disk running through our planetary neighborhood played a role in the initial creation of the solar system and have thus always been a part of the fabric of our solar system, researchers believe that BZ509's opposite clockwise rotation has always been present. This hints at the fact that it may have more distant origins than its brethren and was pulled into its current orbit by the gravitational pull of Jupiter. The lead author of the study detailed these peculiar findings, explaining their conclusions in a press release saying that how the asteroid came to move in this way while sharing Jupiter's orbit has until now been a mystery. If 2015 BZ509 were a native of our system, it should have had the same original direction as all of the other planets and asteroids inherited from the cloud of gas and dust that formed them. Researchers believe that, in the early days of planetary formation, when stars were densely packed and in close proximity, the gravitational pull of the planets could have caused asteroids to effectively swap between the systems, and BZ509 is hypothesized to be one such transplant. Although other researchers have their doubts about this hypothesis, instead pointing out towards the distant Oort cloud at the edge of the solar system as a more likely candidate for the asteroid's origins. Much more research is needed to officially confirm or deny these interstellar projections once and for all. Scientists spot baby alien planet that might be forming moons. Planetary formation is a slightly mysterious process that is believed to occur when specific conditions are met. For gas giants specifically, this requires areas that are highly gaseous and have lots of dust available. Although the exact mechanics are not fully known, the best way to answer these questions once and for all is by observing the formation of exoplanets beyond our solar system, although this has proven to be a futile quest, that is, until recently. Thanks to the increasingly powerful telescopes being developed, researchers were able to locate the first ever gas detection in the disk around distant star 
AS209 using the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. These detections point to the possibility that a baby planet, likely in the early stages of becoming a Jupiter-esque gas giant, may be responsible. Observation of these conditions can help researchers to understand how systems developed, from planetary formation to the creation and migration of moons in the early stages of system formation. As one might expect, such an incredible discovery is challenging researchers' ideas of what is possible according to the confines of our current understanding of the laws of space. While the baby exoplanet is only 395 light-years from Earth, providing researchers with a great view to study its early days, it is 200 times the distance from its host star than Earth is from our Sun. This distance has left astronomers scratching their heads, as it was previously believed that a planet of this size could not be supported at such great distances from its host star. Although researchers have investigated several possible explanations for how the planet could exist at such a large size with such a great distance, none appear to be sufficient. One theory suggested the possibility that the host star's disk may have been gravitationally unstable in the past, and the planet initially formed much closer. Although simulations indicated that this could result in the creation of a planet at similarly great distances from the host star, it did not appear to support the creation of a gas giant of this size. Authors of the resulting paper suggested that, while it is not possible that the disk was sufficiently massive in the past, the small present-day disk mass implies that the disk should have lost its mass very efficiently since then. So although the discovery of a planet in the early stages of formation is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for researchers to observe, it has certainly raised a host of questions that must be resolved in order to come to terms with or update current theories of planetary formation. Locusts can smell cancer Recent studies have demonstrated that the newest piece of the puzzle may lie with none other than bugs, specifically locusts, in detecting cancer. Recent experiments showed that the insects are skilled and surprisingly accurate when it comes to using their sense of smell to pass out healthy human cells from cancerous ones. In fact, their ability to even identify individual cancer cell tracks suggests that locusts may be able to detect different types of cancer. They were able to measure this detection by attaching electrodes to the brains of the locusts and measuring the responses when presented with gas samples from cancerous and healthy cells. These responses, when combined across all of the cells, were remarkably accurate and distinct, clearly identifying the cancerous cells. It's believed that the locusts were able to detect the difference in volatile organic compounds that we breathe out. VOCs are altered when cancer interferes with the healthy metabolic cell processes, so researchers were keen to investigate the response of locusts, which are known for their sharp sense of smell and have been used in other experiments as well, to the differences in VOCs between healthy and cancerous cells. Needless to say, they were not disappointed when the results from the insect's electrodes were displayed. Microbiologist Christopher Contag with Michigan State University spoke about just how revolutionary this discovery could be for the future of cancer research, saying that the early detection is so important and we should use every possible tool to get there, whether it is engineered or provided to us by millions of years of natural selection. If we are successful, cancer will be a treatable disease. We expected that the cancer cells would appear different than the normal cells, but when the bugs could distinguish three different cancers from each other, that was amazing. Researchers hope that further experiments can help us to understand the processes by which the locusts are able to identify cancerous cells, allowing us to reverse engineer a technology-based solution for early detection of cancer. There are four stages of cancer, and no matter the type, detection and treatment in early stages results in far greater survival rates. Many avenues of current cancer research have focused on successful methods of early detection, which would allow diagnoses to be made much earlier and broadens the treatment options for a cancer patient significantly. The development of a medical device that harnesses this inherent smelling ability of locusts could signal the future for cancer detection. But what do you make of these new discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.